Oh yeah. <laughs> People put a rubber band on a watermelon. Yes. Until it pops. I'm the watermelon. And my butt hole get pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello everyone, and I am Ashley. Also, first of all, fan joy. Um, rude, I don't know where you got that number. I wasn't born in 1995. I was actually born like- 2005. In 2005. 2015. So, <laughs> I was born last year. I don't know where the 1995 is. I don't know how this got approved. I don't remember approving this design. I'm kidding, I did. I thought it was so cute. I almost thought that this was gonna just expose my age, but y'all know that I am- Old. In honor of today's pizza, I recently did a mukbang where I ate wings and pizza and I called it eating wop mukbang and a lot of you guys like that. I don't know if it was like the, I realized also that if you actually spell out eating wop, it's a whole different meaning. It's a whole different video for a whole different website. <laughs> Today I'm going to be eating wop for 24 hours. Let that sink in, okay? Let it sink in for a second. That's such a genius idea. Thank you so much. So right. anything that starts with a W, anything that starts with a P, or just a literal wop is the only thing that I can eat today. That's it. I mean, I can't eat anything else. I'm not going to do pizza again because I feel like that would be cheap, but I just want to show you this box. Like, look at the box. Look at the box. Anyways, continuing on. Today is gonna be a wild day. I've got a couple things planned for us. I also read a lot of comments and a lot of them were liked and it said like try on all of your vests at once. And for some reason, I wanted to make that a separate video, but then I was like, who's gonna watch me try on every single vest at the same time? You're not just vest haul? No, but like try it all on, on top of each other. Uh... Like 50 layers of vests. I also have this new game that I've been dying to play from TikTok. So today I guess is more of like a watch me eat some WAP <laughs> and play some games. I really feel like this should be on a different website. Is that a bunny? Oh, that tail's so long. <gasps> I stood up. I mean, I don't know why I'm so fascinated. I really have been living a hermit life in 2020 that even a squirrel is like going to the zoo these days. We need to get out more. So, I already ordered breakfast. So I got these waffles because WAP. <laughs> Wop. Waffles and pancake? pancake. This is the most dense waffle ever. They're the can I get a one? Can I, can I just get a, get a wop? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know, boo. Sounds dry. Mm -mm. Oh my god. <gasps> you got shrimp dripping. everywhere. It's dripping. The wop is dripping. Are you a pancakes or a waffle person? I'm a pancake person. Me too. Yeah. Mm. Who likes waffles? This is called Red Flag. I don't know if it's a big game. It seems like it's um not that intense. It's by Jack Dyer. You get two white cards. And this is supposed to represent a plus, a bonus. So imagine you're going on a date right now. This is the first date. And it says, look, you know, yoga instructor. Your first date person is a yoga instructor. And they have the same favorite music as you. Now, Red Flag has never spelt a word correctly. Would you still date this person? So you're asking me if... Am I gonna date this yoga instructor? Who has Who's the same favorite music as you, but their red flag is that they've never spelt a word correctly. So I'm imagining someone who's really fit and who likes Chinese music. Yeah, all of that. And okay. then, but they can't spell. They can't spell. And I can't spell. <laughs> so it's a match made in heaven. Yeah. Okay, so you would date this person. I would smash, totally. I'm getting kind of angry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So do I pick two for you or not? Yes. Check this out. <laughs> You're going to yeah. meet this person who loves sports. I don't like sports though. Life is the true story that blank is based on. What Harry Potter is based on. Harry Potter based their life on this person. Mm -hmm. So they're a witch, wizard. Yeah, Harry. okay. But, are you ready? <gasps> you love Harry Potter, I right? Love Harry so Potter. this one is like they love sports, yeah. they love their I Harry like Potter sports, basically. But, okay. but they're related to you. <laughs> Black family 
of Sirius Black and Bellatrix Lestrange and Narcissa and all of them, they have, um, Bellatrix Lestrange is known to be a little bit crazy because there's lots of inbreeding in that family because they're pure blood wizards. So what is it? You... So no. <laughs> oh. Perfect communicator. That's a plus, yes. Okay, plus. I will appreciate that. Loves you unconditionally, but is a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't we just pick each other's ultimate candidate? Oh my god, YouTube celebrity. Oh, hell no. So I have three white cards per one red card. So I've got six in total. I don't even know I have where to three start. three in total. So why don't we do this? You, you do two, I do one. And then we should let people like ask, put their decision. Okay. In the comments, smash or pass. Okay, number one, okay? Yes. Never blames you for anything. Literally never, even if you're in the wrong. They have the same favorite books as you, so you guys can uh -huh. go to Barnes and Nobles. Uh -huh. And they also give you multiple organisms. But here's the red flag. Uh -huh. They literally won't talk to you if you're part of the wrong Hogwarts house. <laughs> do you smash or do you pass? Yeah. You I smash? Yeah, I smash. <laughs> They're affectionate, they're a professional chef, and they're really driven. But, they're an amateur cannibal. <laughs> Do you <laughs> smash your pants? <laughs> this is so good. Ready? Okay. This person that you're on a date with owns a solid gold private jet. <laughs> Their farts smell like flowers. Holy shit! They love to cuddle. <gasps> but, okay. they're a six-year-old. This one is good. Was on the news for rescuing a kitten. So okay. they love animals. Okay. They always make time for you. They're never gonna give you up, let you down, run around, or desert you. The red flag is that they literally never stop talking. <laughs> this is like Don't you literally care? everything about this person is the opposite of what I'm looking for. No, 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 no. But this is me, 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 me. Wait, I have one more. A millionaire. Okay, that's good. Best sex ever. They won okay. the Medal of Honor. What's Medal of Honor? I don't know. Like but, but they only speak in puns. <laughs> oh, <f> yeah. <laughs> that one would be my dream partner. Honey, I'm your dream partner. I think this is your stop. They believe you are the most attractive person they've ever seen. They own Mars. Oh, wow, Elon Musk. Their morning breath smells like fresh baked cookies. Oh, I love that. I hate morning breath. Oh yeah. my god. They just open their mouth, you just smell cookies. cookies. But mm -hmm. it is actually two children stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. What is this? No to pedophilia, I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> what if we change it to is a 60-year-old virgin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That easy? That easy. Okay, change that. They yeah. live in a bedroom with eight dudes, including one named Junk. That's okay. What about they have scissor hands? Oh, that means their hands are literally... <laughs> I don't understand. Their hands are just two scissors? Yeah. How would you feel about that? I don't think it's okay. Go. Okay, ready? Funniest person in the world. Okay. So you're just gonna laugh all the time. That's... And it's like your sense of humor. Yes, done. You will not age while you date them. So you'll stay young forever. They never fart. But the only red flag is that they speak <laughs> with a constantly changing foreign accent. <laughs> Why does it feel like I don't have any of the white cards, but my entire personality is just red flags. <laughs> That's what I have to deal oh with. I don't care any upsides, <laughs> only the downsides. Shimmy, shimmy, you love me. All right, my last one, ready? This person that you're meeting today is the most physically attractive person you have ever seen. And this person has a magic bag that contains unlimited cheese. And you will never gain weight while dating them. Oh. But this person burps and blows in your face. Oh no. Oh no, after all that cheese, they burp and they do the oh. I hate that thing. I hate it so much. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. He does that thing once in a while and it literally will drive me insane. I will want to punch him in the face. But they're attractive. And they have cheese. I date him. transitioned into short sleeves because I think after I eat lunch, I probably should have done it before I eat lunch, which is go try on every single one of my vests, layer it up, become a 50 vest wearer all at once. 
stuff type of person. <laughs> I'm gonna eat first, food first. <laughs> so the whole plan, I don't know if I kind of reiterated this during breakfast, but it's supposed to have a food that is W and P. Like waffles and pancakes, wings and pizza. That's the full WAP. So today I got Wendy's and Panda Express. That's exactly I what I said. Is. Yeah. This is my idea. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm cheating about this, but it is technically, it, it even says on their menu, it's a white meat spicy chicken nuggets. So Wendy's W. You like give me some dipping sauce? This is called sauce sauce. Mmm. Okay, so panda. <laughs> Can I see? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like that? He's eating pecan pie. My panda looks a little bit funky fresh. It's I'm sus. not gonna um roast them, but it's a little bit sus and we just Recently, not too long ago, did a mukbang on a guy who sold hamburger meat, but it was human meat. Oh. I'm just a little suspicious of food right now. <laughs> For my lunch, I'm gonna be eating p -p popcorn with some p -p pickles. But well, what about the W? I have Wendy. Okay, this is called the Windy City. Oh, Windy popcorn. Windy popcorn. It's a mix of cheese popcorn and caramel popcorn. I think you're gonna love it. And then a pickle. This is like sweet and spicy pickles. <gasps> Why do you eat like you're pregnant or something? Wow. Oh my goodness. Can I have the crust of your pecan pie? I love crust. Maybe I'm just a crusty bit. <laughs> We're gonna eat this and I'm gonna try on some vests so. though. Welcome to the closet. I'm gonna put on as many vests as I own. I'm using this as um, fulfilling the wishes of you guys that have commented this and liked that comment of me trying on all of my vests at once. So is this like the yes. idea like you know how people put a rubber band on a watermelon? Yes. Until it pops. I'm the watermelon. And like that whole get this one says, good grief. Number two. And then number three. <laughs> number four. I feel like I'm so well padded right now. You know number, the best, the best. Number five. What is this? Number six. Number seven. Hey, I got some best too. <laughs> Try people, people. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. Is this what pregnancy feels like? I'm sure it's a lot worse. <laughs> this one's number ten. I think that's about it. I only There's have a gray one right there. Oh yeah. Number ten. My shoulders are in pain. <laughs> it's I the think. famous purple one. <laughs> Are you not hot at all? No. I can't really move my arms down. Okay, why don't you do this for 24 hours? <laughs> Wait, my best friend 24 hours. I know that this look gives you guys all the whop, but um. Yeah, keep the comments PG. I'll see you guys for dinner. Oh my god. Okay, like smack me. I don't feel it. Nobody's gonna think, think how to do it, right? No. Okay. Come on, give it to me. Now let's go see how she's taking them off. Yes. Oh, oh she's so, so spicy! You got this. Ah! This is literally how I imagine you to look in 20 years. I like it. Uh, another one. Another one. It's like an onion. So many layers. Okay. Another one. Okay. Another one. Another one. Another one, and then on. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see that? This might be my most exciting meal yet. So for dinner, we decided to spice it up a little bit, and we got wonton soup from a place called Mao Zedong Po. It's called Mao Dong Po. Mao Dong Po. We got some Panera bread. I've got a a tomato soup and a Panera bread. 
Panwich. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a short little mukbang for you right now because this is my go-to Panera order. It's a Mediterranean veggie sandwich. There's literally no meat in here. It's on like a tomato basil bread. Tell them how many times I get this. This is the only thing I get it's from Panera. It's not even good. What? It's kind of sour. Isn't it sour? Mm. What part of that is good? Every part. It's got hummus, feta cheese, cucumbers, red onion. Mmm, my God. It's so good. It's truly delicious. And then the tomato soup. You gotta get some tomato soup in the fall. Honestly, tomato soup used to remind me of throw up. Kind of has like a throw up taste. <laughs> Great. I used to not like it, but my mom would get it a lot, so I would eat it, and now I feel like my brain likes it. <laughs> Let's try this wonton soup. Bitch. It's giving me some WAP right now. <laughs> Also, um, we're gonna be alone for Thanksgiving, so if you guys have any suggestions on what to do with just two people, because I don't really want to cook like a feast, I don't really even think we should buy like a feast. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving used to be my favorite holiday. No, but my mom's not gonna be in town for Thanksgiving because my sister decided, first of all, sister, if you're listening to this, I'm upset with her. I'm really mad at her. She doesn't know it yet, but um, I think if I keep ignoring her calls, she'll realize it soon, you know? It's because Thanksgiving is the day before my birthday. My birthday's on Black Friday. <laughs> the 27th, and then my sister had made her anniversary with her fiance on my birthday. So if we were together in the same city for some whatever reason, she would not come to my birthday dinner because she would go to her anniversary dinner. On top of that, Thanksgiving is the day before my birthday this year, then it's my birthday, and then my sister decides to have her baby shower the day after my birthday. And so my mom's gonna be in, in Atlanta that whole week. So we're gonna be alone for Thanksgiving and my birthday. Um, we're not going because um, a lot of reasons. You know, especially with Manga being sick, it was like either my mom goes or like I go, and it seems like everyone wants my mom there more than me. <laughs> so I've decided to do something that my fiance and I both came across on TikTok, and it just felt like a sign from the heavens above because usually we have two completely different TikToks. Like he gets weird, like little funny comical ones. I get like all the Amazon ones. So I'm gonna try this because I'm obsessed with this. This is a tutorial. I'm gonna do it. I do a lie. <laughs> Are you sure? Is it... Oh shit! Oh yeah. You know what? This yeah. is exactly yeah. what I see. <laughs> I gotta show my mom. <laughs> gonna be so disappointed that she messed her body to give birth to me. <laughs> and this is what I grew up to do. I am so excited. I want to ruin her night. <laughs> I'm gonna show her first. Are you all gonna show me off? <laughs> Best you ever really? Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I mean, don't let this haunt you in your dreams. Ugh.